Hey everyone, welcome back to the Going Zero Waste YouTube channel. You might notice I am not in my office. Instead, I am on the floor. <laughs> it just feels a lot more personable than being in my office space. And my setup is a lot different. I'm not using a fancy camera. I'm just using my phone and a little tripod. And Nala is here. Mwah! <laughs> She's got a little lipstick mark on her forehead now. <sighs> so one of my top favorite ways to take care of myself, sustainable, cheap, easy, is just to make yourself a fancy drink, whether that's a matcha, a tea, a latte at home, sparkling water with lemon and mint. Just do something a little bit special for yourself, like making a fancy drink, since most of us aren't going to any cafes right now. Um, just taking, you know, a few extra minutes to do something that just feels a little indulgent is really, really nice. Something that I've been trying to get better about is getting into a good skincare routine. And now I don't really have an excuse because I have plenty of time. So I'm trying to um, do a face mask at least twice a week. Uh, it's a great way to um, improve my skin as well as force myself to have 10 minutes where I have to sit and wait and using that time to meditate and breathe, which brings me to the third one, which is meditating and breathing and just, allowing your thoughts to pass through you without holding on to them, which is something I definitely struggle with. And my next one is playing with your fluffy friends. I hope you don't mind an extraordinary amount of Nala footage in this video. Because like I said, one of the best ways to feel better is to hang out with your fluffy friends. And if you don't have any fluffy friends, then looking at other people's fluffy friends on the internet is also another great way to, uh, add a little bit of joy into your day. Now, I am by no means an expert when it comes to self-care. I don't even really like that term. So this is just what works for me, but I'm by no means an expert. I've also written an entire blog post on this, which I will link down below if you're interested that has even more tips, more tricks, and other things that I do around my house, around my home. Um, and anytime I'm just genuinely not feeling uh, super 100%. She's pretty cute though, right? She doesn't care about me. She just cares about that bum. I think I should do all my videos recorded just like this. Could have like little microphones and be like, Nala, what do you think about that? Two paws up. And my next tip is to simply go on a walk. We're gonna go on a walk a little bit later today. And that's been, I've been trying to force myself to get out of the house. I'm feeling so much more grounded sitting on the ground rather than like on my desk chair. I'm feeling um, more personable, less polished. Now, one of the things that I have been specifically trying to do is find five things that bring me joy every day and really focusing on those things. And today that was a hot shower. So I would love to encourage you to do a similar practice, find five things that are really, really bringing you joy. And it's okay if they're the same five things every day. For me, it is this sparkling water, which I've talked about a few times. Nala, this sweet, sweet baby who is right now, right here while I'm filming this, so cute. Uh, my house plants are bringing me so joy and we had like one ray of sunshine that like came down from the heavens structured and it looks like the sun is finally coming out <laughs> i'm so excited it has been cloudy for two weeks which has not been helping at all <sighs> that was lovely and i'm sure that when we go on our walk today i'll find a whole bunch of flowers and other things that I'll try and document that are bringing me joy. So that's my other tip is to find five things that are bringing you joy. Take a mental note of them, take a physical note of them or a photo, do something to document the small things that bring joy into your life and focus on why you're grateful for those things. Oh, did I say a hot shower? Because that has definitely been helping me <laughs> as well. It's just, oh, I'm so grateful for hot water right now. So grateful for it. Next on my list is to deep clean. My goal is to go in and scrub my fridge, which is something that has I've been putting off doing. So if there's a similar cleaning task that you've been putting off doing, I'm not saying it's gonna be fun or enjoyable, but I think at the end of it, you'll feel a really nice sense of accomplishment. So I'm going to do that um, sometime this week, clean, deep clean my fridge. And then I'm also going to probably just read a good book, lay in the hammock, 
enjoy some downtime, try to force myself to enjoy the downtime, which can definitely be a struggle. Nala is so cute, guys, she's so cute right here, down here by me. And if you guys are looking for any book recommendations, I would love to recommend my book to you, 101 Ways to Go Zero Waste. And I also have a free class on Skillshare, which brings me to one of my last points, um, which is learning a new skill, um, practicing a hobby. And if you're interested, Skillshare came over to my house last year and shot an original video. And I'll link that down below. You can get two free months to Skillshare and you can watch my class. I make a little bit of income every time you watch my class, which is really great because that is one of the main ways that I'm currently supporting myself um, since a lot of my other revenue streams like speaking gigs and stuff has dried up. So I will link to that down below. Another great way to stay connected during this time while you're staying at home. And one of the best ways I found to raise my spirits is to simply try and call someone new every day, whether that's FaceTime, chatting, just a good old fashioned phone call. Uh, it's always been really, really helpful for me. I kind of want to do a video that talks about sustainability and zero waste with everything that's going on in the current environment and how I'm seeing things and how I think this will affect the zero waste movement in the future, how I think it's going to affect overall sustainability in the future. And if you'd be interested in that video, please let me know in the comments down below and I would be more than happy to make that. Anyways, stay safe. Stay healthy, stay inside, I'll see you soon.